Welcome to the NatFL channel, where we keep you updated on NFL news every day. As the 2021 NFL offseason slowly moves along, the debates and hot takes have only intensified when it comes to quarterback Deshaun Watson and where he might end up should the Houston Texans decide they have no choice but to trade him. The Miami Dolphins almost invariably somehow figure into the conversation because they have a lot of draft capital to offer the Houston Texans in a potential trade and they also represent an appealing destination for Watson, who could make use of the no-trade clause in his contract should he really want to play hardball with his current team. When it comes to the Dolphins, the debate always centers around whether it's a good idea to give up a big package of picks and perhaps one or two frontline players instead of simply building around quarterback Tua Tungavailoa after they made him the fifth overall selection in the 2020 NFL Draft. Two of the latest network analysts to chime in are former NFL players Jeff Saturday and Marcus Spears, who both endorse the idea of the Dolphins being aggressive in trying to land Watson if they have the opportunity. In a New York Minute, Spears said on the ESPN show, Get up. Absolutely they should. This dude affects everybody around him. We talk about a different level right now. Tua has development. He has things that he needs to do, and I believe Tua will eventually be a good quarterback. But this is what I already know, that Deshaun Watson is a great quarterback. We're talking about a dude that lost his number one receiver and led the league in passing. The only shining star for the Houston Texans. So when you look at this situation in its entirety and you think about the unprecedented moment that we have with a quarterback that just signed a long-term deal in his prime and you think about him going to another team, you ask yourself, where would he be better suited? Miami. That's been my place since the beginning. So I like the damn social media pictures. Spears, in fact, listed Watson to Miami as the top offseason move he'd like to see happen. One argument against going after Watson and staying the course with Tungavailoa is that the Dolphins obviously thought enough of him to take early in the 2020 draft and it would be regrettable to give up after only one year. Another argument is that it makes more sense for the Dolphins to use all their draft capital and cap space to acquire playmakers to put around Tungavailoa and hope he continues to develop to the point where he himself can become an elite quarterback. 